Hello, welcome to another tutorial for BYU Hawaii Drupal Webmasters. This tutorial will show you how to manage blocks in Drupal. Uh, blocks are pretty much the the building parts of uh, a Drupal website. Uh, menus make up uh, a block in Drupal and also uh, you can create a custom block where you can place um, for example rotating galleries or uh, information or RSS feeds or any kind of custom stuff that you want to place on your website. One of the nice things about blocks is it's very flexible. You can place a block, like for example, this image is a block which has been placed on the content top. And you have the left side menu which becomes the left block. And you have this uh, university-wide uh, contact information block which you can also um, uh, control from the block. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to uh, move around blocks and uh, configure them and place them. And then we'll create a new block. So under site building on your administration menu you go to blocks and I'm going to show you an example of how I can place move around a block so for example I'm going to move this certification block on the left sidebar and place it on the right there's two ways of doing that you can come here to the block go to the um, region and say I want it to be on the right sidebar whenever you make a change to a block you'll need to save the block in order for it to take effect so now I have moved the certification block to the right sidebar. Now another example is you could either just drag and drop to the section that you want it and save the block. So you can drag and drop. Um, one thing is you can also uh, drag uh, the block from disabled to the left sidebar, the right sidebar. What happens is when you create a new block, which we're going to do right now, I'm going to add a block and place it on the right sidebar and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, say this is web test block and I'm gonna go ahead and create some text in there and create a little bit of formatting here You can also insert images. You can also use the uh, code right here and place um, scripts, for example, uh, jQuery or um, any other um, RSS feeds or anything like that and place them in here. And once you're done, um, you just go ahead and save the block. One thing that's important is after you create the block, it does not automatically be is not automatically placed anywhere. You'll have to go to the disabled section look for the block that you created and you can either drag it up or you can just say I want it to be on the left sidebar now when you're done you can go ahead and save the block and as indicated we want it to be on um, the left sidebar now, if you want to um, make more changes to the block you can also go, uh, say I, I don't want it to be on the very bottom I want it to be on the top you can just um, drag it and place it to where you want it and likewise you can say I, I don't want it to be on the left I want it to be on the right and you can go ahead and make those changes uh, lastly when uh, when you have created a block it's important that you create descriptions for your block so you know what blocks you're working with and hopefully this will this tutorial will help you understand on how to manipulate blocks and uh, create um, different portions of your uh, website and make it more professional looking. Thanks.